So we're looking into an inverter or compressor fault. So first off, we need to identify whether it's an inverter or compressor. So we're taking the covers off this one just to show you inside. So this is the noise filter here I'm pointing to. And then we've actually got the inverter itself at the back there, okay? Behind that, we've got the heat sink. So on the right-hand side, you've got the big capacitors. So this is all being switched off for at least five minutes to let the capacitors on the right-hand discharge. That can be the dangerous bit. So we're gonna disconnect those connections off the top of the compressor. And we're gonna connect those onto, safely onto the multimeter. And then we're gonna test across those voltages. We're gonna do this with each of the sets of phases. So we're gonna keep swapping over those connections. So we're going U to V, V to W, and W to U. And what we're looking for is a balance across these phases. And if all three phases are the same, then we know the inverter is fine. The problem lies with the compressor.